set your working directory to your working directory where your GPK file is located. Mine's already set, but you can see I'm just setting it there. Same thing for the Kogo preferences. Those are set. We want to go to plan preparation, plan view labeling. Once we're in here, we want to point our job to your GPK file. Then we find your 10 file. Your 10 file is located in the survey folder for your project. It'll be read only, and that's okay. All your labels that you're going to use is in the styles. We want to set your scale to your active scale size. In this case, it's a 50. So you go to Styles tab. In this case, we're going to work on our contours. So we want to select the Contours folder. And there's the contours. So you double click on that. And you can hit the little data point location zoom in so you can see so we snap to the end of the contour and it picks up that elevation off the tin file we can rotate it pretty much any angle that you want the angle the element is going to rotate it to the element angle. Active angle will rotate it to MicroStation's active angle. And the DP will let you rotate around a data point. I'm going to set it to the current angle or to the element angle. Next, I'm going to pick, to pick another line and rotate it to the element. I can pick the Crosshair picks up the elevation. I rotate it to the element. Showing the repeat. Rotating to the element tentative. Rotate to the element. These styles are all set to CAD conform the right text height. snap to the end of the line that's the demo there I'm gonna play
place a fence around those pieces of text there. I'll cag them full on it. Show that they will cag the form. styles you have options in the construction area and we can add other ones but right now there's a remove bridge note this is just a kind of a startup note as you can see you got a station in there when you set it to active angle so it'll go back to your microstation angle or your data point to a station and it picks up that station showing that there you can retype all that note in there if you want or just parts of it and see it's gonna pick up the 104 instead of the 105 Cool part of using this note generator is it's going to put on all three sides of the note and the leader. I'm going to drop that because it's a Geopack cell. Now I'm going to extend those lines. I'm going to place a terminator that's out of the scalable. and you can change that but that's the general idea and we can add notes to the styles library and build it to what you guys would like to see